Hello, Don here again from Air Guns of Arizona. We're with the LCS SK-19. I'm gonna give you a, a pretty brief overview on uh, how to set up your gun, get it functioning, uh, the do's and don'ts, and basic recommend uh, recommendations. We also have a sheet that'll be included with each gun, give you some velocity parameters to look at, and shot counts associated with those. It's available on our website, but it's some useful information, it gives you some parameters, and uh, shot count, etc., for your LCS, either 22 or 25 caliber. Uh, of course, you have your foster fill, uh, whether you received a 480 or 580 cc bottle, the longer bottle gets you about another 20 shots out of the gun. Fill pressure is 250 bar, you'll read it at the main fill gauge, bottle gauge here, the manometer. This is regulated pressure in the rear. The regulator is here where my finger is. It is not recommended that you change the regulator in this gun. It is honestly optimized for the length of barrel. And if you increase the, the pressure on this gun, you're gonna do, lose nothing but shot count. It's just not gonna gain you anything that's gonna account for much. So with that rec recommendation, it's at 140 bar. Your power adjuster is on the bottom of the gun. Clockwise will increase pressure when the gun's face downrange away from you. Turning it down will decrease pressure. Um, for instance, you can get somewhere between 600 feet a second and over 1,000 feet a second uh, by just simply turning this knob. So you can tune the gun for the increased shot count or you can turn the knob for increased velocity if you want maximum energy. Um, it's very, a very reliable gun. The gun works off of pressure, so it is recommended that you don't shoot your gun below 140 bar, which is what the regulator set at. If you do a, a little bit, it's not gonna hurt anything. But if you shoot it too low, what can happen is, this is a, a, the hammerless firing system. There's no striker in it. So it's a, it's a, t a very unique two-way valve system in here that actually releases air, forces the pellet out of the magazine and into the barrel. What can happen, because the magazine is also, also actuated by air pressure, and it's done very quickly, when the air is fired, if the pellet, there's not enough pressure to fire the pellet through the magazine, out of the magazine, and it's say half of it protrudes through the front of the magazine. Meanwhile, the indexer's already pushed on this thing to rotate it to get the next one, because the air had fired. Now you have a pellet that's pinched. And that's what happens when you shoot the gun too low on air. Unfortunately, you have no way to fix it. I have to fix it. So I have to remove the back of the gun and, reassemb and reassemble it. It's a rather lengthy process. With that said, as long as you maintain air pressure in your rifle and not shoot it below 140 bar, you shouldn't ever have any problems with it. I've shot, we have our original shop gun and without a doubt it has probably well over 10,000 rounds fired through it. I have my own personal gun that all my friends have shot and I have had no issues with it. All you have to do is remember to fill it up once in a while. So power adjuster is real simple, clockwise increase. To decrease, you turn it counterclockwise. The 25 calibers, uh, for instance, mine is set up shooting King heavies at uh, 900 feet a second. I can change out, put a King in there and it'll shoot those at a thousand. So you can go from more energy to flatter shooting. It's, a be it's the beauty of the gun. You can, you can change it relatively easy. I just recommend you change this over a chronograph so that you can see the difference because there's a click value. You can feel this knob when you turn it, there's a click in it. And each click will provide additional power. But to see how much that provides you, you need a chronograph and you can turn it Shoot one, turn it, click, two clicks, shoot it again, see what it gets you. And that's another way to tune it too. Say you have, oh, I want to shoot it in, uh, generally at 900 feet a second, but out this weekend I'm going on a kamikaze jackrabbit mission somewhere that you need the maximum energy for. So I'm gonna go up another eight clicks, which just happens to know because you chronographed it, gives you 960 feet a second. So when you get home, if you want to go back to your normal setting, you come back down the eight clicks and it's going to be very close to where it was. 
Well, that about wrap up all today's videos. Um, be sure to stop in to Area Guns of Arizona if you're in the Valley. We'd be happy to see you. Uh, a lot of rifles to handle and look at. Enjoy some of the other videos we have available for you online. And until we come out with a new one, I guess we'll meet again then. <laughs>